Well, folks, it happened. Nintendo has made the Nintendo Direct announcement. That's right, folks. Remember yesterday, we put out a video last night saying there will be a Nintendo Direct this week. People want to say what they're going to say. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You're full of it, Nate. Well, guess what? But bam Nintendo has announced a Nintendo Direct for tomorrow. An oddball day. It's happening on a Tuesday. Probably because we have MEO and Famicom Detective Club launching on Thursday. So they want to give a little time in their final trailer and all that. Plus they have Nintendo Live. Plus they have PAX West coming up with demos. Anyways, it says join us tomorrow, August 27th at 7 a.m. Pacific for an Indie World Showcase followed. Followed by a hashtag Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. The live stream featuring both presentations back to back will be roughly 40 minutes in total. You can watch here. You can actually watch right here at Nintendo Prime. And oh man, you have no idea how excited this makes me. One, <sighs> hey, I told you there'd be a Nintendo Direct this week. There's a freaking Nintendo Direct this week. What have I been saying for several days in my last two videos on the Direct and also on live stream? I thought it was going to be a partner showcase. Now, I have my reasoning for it. And one of the reasons was because one of the sources that we were going to have presentations this month was PH Brazil. And I don't know if you guys realize what this person said back in May. Back in May, he noted that, hey, this upcoming June Direct, when it happens, will be the last general Nintendo Direct, you know, dedicated to Nintendo Switch. Although, he said, there would still be a partner showcase later this year. Then, earlier this month, he comes out and says, hey, multiple presentations that were supposed to happen in September have been moved forward to August. And we're like, okay, what is it? Oh, then we got the Museum Direct. Oh, it's not that. Then we got... Then we got, then we got, then we got, and hey, we have a partner showcase. Now, one thing he was a little off on, if we want to be, just be fair, he originally said an indie world would be in August. Well, that original statement turns out it's correct. Uh, but he later said in this month that the indie world would be in September. Obviously, the indie world's right now. Now, why does all of this matter? What is the big deal? Well, do you remember what else PH Brazil put out there? Oh, right. Uh, the reason all these events are happening right now is because Nintendo has moved up the release timing, at least the scheduled marketing timing, of the Nintendo Switch 2. And that, that podcast he said that on would be one of the last before the Switch 2 news really gets going. So right now, as of right now, Nintendo has cleared out the entire month of September. We've had multiple directs now this month, plus an Indie World this month. Oh, man. And we got, obviously, demos and all that coming up this weekend with Nintendo Live and PAX West. So we're going to have a bunch of coverage of Echoes of Wisdom and Jamboree. And then, folks, why would Nintendo clear out September? Can someone explain this to me? Nintendo always has directs in September, but now they don't. The entire month is open. Week one is open. Week two is open. Week three is open. And we're just going to assume week four isn't. That's the week of... Echoes of Wisdom coming out, plus Tokyo Game Show. So we're going to assume week four, you know, the last week of September, probably off the table. Folks, this just made it so likely that Nintendo Switch 2 is revealed next month. Not only am I hyped, we'll be live streaming this Nintendo Direct. We'll be live streaming the Indie World. We'll do the back-to-back, -back, the 40 minutes. Heck, tonight, maybe we'll do a little bingo. Do a little Nintendo Direct bingo tonight. Try to predict all the third-party games we'll see. We obviously have one game leak in My Sims. You know, you can do what you want with that. Maybe I put My Sims in my free space. I don't know. But what I do know is, guys, I've been getting a lot of shit. Let's just be real here. I'm not going to call anyone individually. I've been getting a lot of shit for trusting Brazil, for trusting Nate the Hate. And I got to tell you guys, what did I say yesterday? I've been doing this a long time. Long enough now that I have covered so many different rumors and so many different people over the course of a long period of time. I have learned who to trust in key moments. And look, that doesn't mean they're always right, right? Obviously, Nate the Hate was hyping up a March reveal for Switch 2 and was wrong just literally two days later when the news of an internal delay came from or came out. But the person who gave us that news was PH Brazil, who, by the way, was just more privy because he had different sources and different contacts. And now he told us multiple presentations this month. We now have three, technically, because they're doing an Indie World, then a Partner Showcase, Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Immediately after, that's already two presentations. And, by the way, they had the Nintendo Direct Museum. So, 
completely right on the front of multiple presentations in PH Brazil. Have your fucking ice cream. Eat your cake. Enjoy your day. I already saw you put out this tweet on Twitter where you're you're definitely like celebrating because you're tired of people doubting you. You have been so correct so many times over the years that it doesn't really make sense that people doubted you outside of what what that one time earlier this year when things were shifting around after the Switch 2 was internally delayed. Whatever, man. Uh, here's what I know. You just nailed this, which means you're probably correct on the Switch 2 being revealed very soon. I... Oh, man. So, one, I am excited for the Partner Showcase because we're probably going to get some cool reveals, some new games coming to Switch uh, and, and all that. And that's cool. Also, <laughs> Peach Brazil said that like we were going to get Partner Showcase back in May after the June Direct, and sure as shit, here we are. So, by the way, this isn't a victory lap for me. I want I to... Let's back up a bit. This isn't a victory lap for me. Uh, I am not the source of any of this stuff. I don't know anything going on at Nintendo. I think that's been pretty clear over the years. The couple times I've had sources, I've been really transparent about it. Uh, but I haven't had any source on anything Nintendo since maybe the Tears of the Kingdom stuff. So this is the way I, I, I look at this situation. It is rumors are meant to be doubted. Rumors are meant to have skepticism. That's why it's called a, it's in the definition of the word. People always get mad you know, over rumors, but it's like, but rumors are supposed to be skeptical. That's, it's, look up what the definition of rumor, grab a dictionary, open up the pages and look it up. It's meant to be skepticism. So the fact that you mention the word rumor should make you skeptical. However, there's also times when some people, it, it starts to be a consistent pattern where it starts to be, well, is it really a rumor? Is this more like a leak of present plans that could change in the future, but are what the plans are currently. And that seems to be what Nate the Hate and Brazil are doing. Their sources, while I don't know who they are, seem to be connected to third-party companies that have games that are going to appear in various Nintendo events, or they have dev kits, obviously, for Switch 2. And so I have learned over the years that these are two very reliable people that, well, you can't you say that, you know, never doubt them. I mean, yes, they've gotten things wrong, uh, but... Every time they've gotten things wrong, it's always been easily explainable by just internal delays and things changing. And I know that seems like a convenient excuse, but they've never been just flat out wrong. Like, in terms of, hey, there isn't a Direct coming. Hey, there isn't an Indie World coming. Hey, this game, it, you know, you said this game's coming to Switch, and it didn't come to Switch. Uh, that's never been the case. So, I just sit back and go, I'm just happy. Like, I'm not happy... That, you know, this is a day where some of the doubters kind of get it stuck to them because doubters should exist. That's the point of rumors. But I am happy because of what this all means. Think about it for a moment. We are getting a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. That's exciting. Is it a partner showcase? Yes. Have I been telling you for a while that I believe it's going to be a partner showcase? Absolutely. Doesn't matter. We have a Nintendo Direct tomorrow. We have an Indie World as well. We're getting both at once. We have the Direct Museum. Uh, now, like, they're, uh, September's clear. And Brazil told us what that means. Brazil told us what that means. Folks. Folks. If you thought I was hyped before, the hype has only just begun. I switched to in September. Switch to in September, baby! Wow! Oh, yeah, yeah, yes! Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go, partner showcase! I'm gonna be the most excited. For a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, I think that I've ever been. Just wait. Show up to my live stream tonight. Watch me smile. Watch how excited I'm going to be. Well, come back tomorrow. Watch me smiling the whole time during the Partner Showcase in any world. Because in the end, it won't matter to me what's in these. You know, I might buy some of the games. I might not. I don't know till I see them. But what it implies for the future. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.